What is up and welcome back. We're so stoked to be here in Huntington Beach at this wonderful private residence and we are here for the Village Launch Party. Village is an awesome line of new sunglasses that are sustainably sourced. So check them out. I actually got a pair right now. They're giving us free pairs, which is dope. So look, we got some uh, repurposed wood and sustainably uh, sourced plastic for all of the lenses and all that. And they're pretty fire. So rocking them now. And we're here with Chad Recchia, who is one of the founders, as well as his partner Jude. And uh, we're stoked to talk to them. Got some amazing people here. They've got a chef with um, all kinds of amazing dishes prepared. They caught, caught tuna, I guess, like two miles off of the shore. So now we're eating this freshly prepared tuna that is raw. It's just really, really amazing. So we're really stoked to be here, and we will see you inside. Come on, follow me. What is up, and welcome back. So we're here with Chad and Brian from Village. They are the founders of this amazing company, also the hosts of this party today. We brought all of these awesome people out, so we're really grateful to both of you for having us here. So, really just want to get a better perspective on like, one, who is Village, and then two, you know, where, where you guys are headed with this company, what's the purpose and, and the vision behind it. So, why don't we get started with some quick intro, if you could give us a little background, like a nutshell intro for each of you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Brian. I founded a couple companies, sold them, uh, came out of retirement after age 27 because <laughs> I was so bored and uh, met up with Chad to start this business. Yeah. Uh, I'm Chad, uh, a serial entrepreneur, and I think, um, you know, Brian and I met uh, a couple months ago, four, four or five months ago now, and we kind of wanted to start something that we were passionate about. You know, a lot of people get stuck with, um, you know, like they say, starting a company or just getting something that you're good at, making money at it, and then you're just stuck having this business where you make money at it and you can't escape. And I think for us, we wanted to create something that um, we felt truly passionate about, that also the better we did, the better the environment or uh, the social good cause did as well. And so it's kind of a positive, positive approach there. And so that's why we have Village. And um, Village is an eyewear sunglass company. We basically fuse uh, reclaimed wood and wood from sustainable sources uh, with premium acetate, premium plastic, polarized lenses. Um, and we get that wood from all over the world, from um, different villages and, and um, uh, cultures and things like that to help support local communities. Everything from Hawaii to Southeast Asia uh, to here in the US, Kentucky. Um, and yeah, the whole idea is basically providing something that's um, valuable to you, uh, premium, and as well as gets back to the uh, environment. So every pair that we sell, uh, we kind of treat. Yeah. partner with Trees for the Future. Yeah, and in addition to that, you know, you're going to be able to trace that piece of wood back to the exact tree and exact location it came from, along with all the local economies to help all the villages, all the jobs that are provided. So to your front door, when you order from us, you're going to be able to trace that all the way back to its original store. No yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And so how do, how do we trace it when we get our goods? Yeah, so you'll go, you'll go on our website, you'll type in your order number, and you'll see a map that just traces the whole path and gives you a timeline of everything you provided on the way. So I was going to ask about the name. I just wanted the name, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can still just give us a quick background on the name. Like what's yeah. Like? No, I think it's uh, pretty straightforward for, for us, at least. It's, uh, it's all about supporting villages. It's your tribe, right? So whether that's... Um, you know, overseas, whether that's different countries, whether that's environmentally, whether it's other people, uh, or locally here, um, it's all about supporting the tribes, supporting villages, and uh, local communities. Yeah. Amazing. So it's a tribe concept, though, right? Like, I mean, we got our tribe here, right? Like, a lot of people yeah. who are like, entrepreneurial, you know, Southern California vibe, maybe into meditation, or, you know, into that mindful behavior, and, you know, creating things that get back. Yeah. Obviously, that's uh, very respectable, but too, it's great because, you know, we can all vibe together. We're all in the same pursuit here, right? Like, it, it, we're very really snags. So, um, you know, I'm really impressed with what you guys have done. They launched in just three months. They put together all of the products that we see on the table, and all the manufacturing, the marketing, the brand, and the photography, which normally would take, I would say, anywhere between six and nine months at least. Well, like you said, it's um, we didn't do it by ourselves. We had our, our tribe, right? Our really? Included. Yeah. One yeah. of our one of our models as well. So uh, no, we, it's um, it's been a fun ride with our connections and who we've met in the industry, utilizing them, having them help, and come together and stuff like that to create this and, and everything that we got going on. It's been, it's been fun. Yeah, and creating this, you know, we wanted to surround ourselves with people 
people that you know share the same goal, share the same mission. And so, you know, we started hiring people that really could take our brand to the next level and that believe in our cause, not just that we're looking to make money off of us or anything like that, but someone that actually want to be involved and actually want to be involved in the whole process and the creative process to follow. That's beautiful. So, when it comes to the mission, like, what, what, what is that? I, I know there's like an altruistic philanthropic component to this. What is that? I think it's about balance, right? It's the idea of creating a plus one, plus one, right? I think a lot of times with um, companies or entrepreneurship, it's a lot about um, taking or, you know, whether it's money or monetarily. Our whole idea is, you know, sure, we want to build a successful business and, you know, we want to basically, you know, build our fortune too, but we also want to make sure we're not taking away and leaving too many negatives behind, right? So we want to basically do a plus one, plus one. We, we really want to be mindful of those that our products are affecting, both the products, the people that we're selling to, as well as the people that are helping us provide those products to our end customers. So we want to be mindful of, you know, their economies. What, what's that doing to that village when we take that piece of wood from their village? They, that's their livelihood. So what do we do? We provide jobs to that village in order to give back. We plant a tree every, for every pair of sunglasses we sell to give back. So. Like Chad said, it's all about balance and being mindful of everybody involved in the whole process from the end consumer to the people that cut down the wood for us. It's amazing. I mean, it's so funny because like, there's drop shipping businesses, there's all these businesses that are literally just like the cheapest, fastest way to make money. And, and whatever, you know, exhaust comes out or whatever, you know, damage is done. That's become very desirable for a lot of people. So it's really cool to see you guys like thinking like from a global perspective or a more holistic perspective, like manufacturing, you know, the shipping, even sourcing like the, the users or the, the customers being able to see that. It's really admirable. And I think that's honestly what we look for in brands today, right? Like I don't, I know a lot of people who don't drink water out of plastic bottles because they don't want to like contribute to like landfills and things like that. And it's, that's a marketing play in itself, even if it wasn't an intention from you guys, but, you know, for me, it means a lot that you guys actually care enough about like the sourcing and how the employees are treated and things like that. So when it comes to like planting trees, like what is what goes into planting a tree for it? I mean, is it expensive? Like, is, yeah, the light work to get there. How, how did you guys come? To so that? we teamed up with a company called Trees for the Future. They're a nonprofit that started in Africa, and so our project that we teamed up with is on is in Senegal, where. They teamed up with a local village in Senegal and they're planting a whole garden and a bunch of trees and kind of providing that sustainable resource for underprivileged villages there. So our part is we donate a dollar for every pair of sunglasses we sell and that dollar translates into a tree for them. So in five years that tree is going to be able to start producing fruits and every day for that village. Wow, for a dollar. Yeah. It's crazy so, to think what we waste a dollar on. Yeah. You know, way more than that. Probably spend ten dollars in gas to drive. For the price for the price of a can of soda, you can plant a tree that's actually gonna help a whole village, you know, get food for an entire year, get a sustainable resource, something that, you know, kids in that village, they're gonna have food to count on every night instead of having to go scavenge food garbage or anything like that. So it's when you think of it on a global scale, you know that dollar makes a huge impact at the end of the day. So wild well to think about, because otherwise you could just pocket that, you know, one dollar, that ten percent of your margin, you could just pocket it. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's good about you know, I, that's also exciting about building brands too and, and being an entrepreneur is that uh, being able to control the funds and control the income coming in and be able to redirect that any way you want, right? Versus just you know, donating to some class you don't know about or not at all, right? Being able to control money, have to come in and redistribute as you wish. Yeah, I mean, you, you're channeling the energy. Mm -hmm. It's really not much different from like how we channel energy as a human, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Very you're true. saying, I want some of our effort to go toward planting trees. Yeah. And we're willing to take five, ten percent less margin. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I mean, it makes a lot of sense still business-wise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, you know, money doesn't buy happiness. We're we're gonna make money regardless, but at the end of the day, it's more about what we're doing for the world economy. And I thought you said the moral economy. Yeah. And I was like, well, I kind of agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that too. <laughs> Seriously, though, we're giving yeah. back to, to yeah. doing good, so that's that's really admirable. So, you know, one of my my, my biggest fascinations with business is how we conduct business.
because that's really where the ethic comes in. And, um, you know, if we can just close out with a quick remark from each of you guys on um, how you use business, or how you use uh, mindfulness and culture and, and authenticity in the company and, and in your behaviors and your processes and your, your business choices, how do you use that to move business forward? So, check out your yeah, no, that's a great question. I think um, I think mindfulness has um, played a huge role. Um, as you know, we, we own a company called Happy Aura as well, which is all about um, nutrition and mind health. And you know, with, with yoga, meditation, things like that, basically just being mindful on a daily basis, I think it helps um, deal with stress and a lot of anxiety that comes with entrepreneurship. Uh, being able to stay focused, not get stuck and spun around in some you know nonsense or issues that don't really matter. And so it helps us keep on moving forward, right? Not getting stuck on what doesn't matter. And I think that's what you can use on your personal life, you know, not getting stuck on what doesn't matter, but also business. Being able to focus on what really truly matters and keep on moving forward. And I think a lot of that has been why we were able to launch this company so fast. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. I mean it removes snags, it removes distractions, mm -hmm. it removes snags. Yeah. And I mean on on the note of my I met Chad five months ago, and we decided to go into business together the day we met mm -hmm. because you know we, we just knew it was going to click. We were going to be mindful of each other's you know, opinions, so we were going to stay in our lanes, but also cross over and you know play off each other, really help each other grow and be mindful of each other's thoughts and opinions like that. So you know what my beliefs are in business, what his are beliefs. We want to really combine that and not compromise, but work together to create something that's going you know, to affect a lot of people in a positive way. How did, how did you know this? Like, what, what was the deciding factor that told you, like, this guy is grounded, or this guy's mindful? Like, how did you know that? You guys did? Um, honestly, we had lunch, and within that hour, I could tell we were operating on the same wavelength. We both were our learners. We want to learn every single day. So whether that's you know picking up something new that's going to help us in business, picking up a new marketing technique, or just learning about someone else's culture that we're sourcing the living off, that's you know we I identified that in Chad that he's learning. He's a creative guy. He's much more creative than I am. So I knew that back to his point about balance. We balance each other out. I'm I'm a highly analytical guy. He's a creative guy, and we met somewhere in the middle. And now we're you know we were able to launch this company in three months. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the more hip, hippie approach, <laughs> uh, which I agree with all that, but I think too, um, ener you know, energy-wise, I think our, our vibes kind of mash up quite a bit. I think you know, when you meet people, you kind of get that feeling of, you know, do you trust them, do you feel like um, they have good intentions, and I think with Ryan, that was very clear. Um, we also had a, a, a kind of a mutual contact, a business coach, a mindful business coach, um, Don Finn, donfinn.com. One. Put in the show notes. Yeah, um, and uh, he introduced us. So that kind of helped, you know, bridge that gap too a little bit. But I think, you know, after we started vibing and talking, it was just it felt good. You know, it felt really comfortable. I've been through, we've been through multiple different partners and businesses in the past, and you know, this one may feel good. This may feel a little weird. I think through that experience, we had a good idea of what this would be. Yeah, and I mean, on that, we didn't decide on sunglasses right away. It was, we were bouncing ideas off each other for the next two weeks over text message while he was still running his other company. I was doing my thing, I was golfing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we were, we were bouncing ideas off each other and then it kind of just hit, oh, sunglasses make sense, let's let's do something totally different. We, you know, we don't want to be a typical sunglasses company that provides cheap sunglasses. Let's do something that's sustainable. Let's do something that's memorable. Let's do something that's going to leave a positive impact, not only on our end customers, but the people involved in the whole process. So that's when we started teaming up with manufacturers that sustain um, or that source from sustainable areas instead of just the mass market manufacturers. That so we're willing to pay more for a higher quality product because at the end of the day, we're mindful of everyone that it's providing jobs to and everything like that. So we really want to take all that into account when we're creating business. And some of us just made sense. I mean, you guys have done so many businesses, you've seen so many things that you don't want to do. Now it's like, all right, we're going to make sure manufacturing is on point. We're going to make sure we have a charity to give to. We're going to make sure the culture of the company is something we want to work in. I think this, this, Everything that we're looking at is the fusion of everything that you've done up to now. And it's, it's really impressive because it's like, here's what I didn't want to do, and now like you guys have painted this you know, beautiful orchestra, and, and it shows you know, the people, the energy here. So I, I respect both of you guys for, for Thank you. achieving that, that balance, and I think all of us entrepreneurs are looking to achieve that balance. So 
with that, I want to thank both of you for hosting us today. Of course. And we got this amazing brand. Absolutely. Yeah. Stuff to be it's a part of it. Man. Yeah. Well, a little Appreciate part of it. Man. Yeah. yeah. You guys want to show off the sunglasses? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. So we got uh, polarized lenses, acetate plastic, the arms are all the uh, fused with acetate as well. Different types of wood that we have with our logo there. And how do we how do we support the brand? Follow on Instagram. Follow on Instagram. Go to site. Yeah, village.com. So v l l g e dot com. Um, we have a promotion right now we're running. So it's uh, basically subscribe to our newsletter. Send uh, or add three friends to that um, newsletter as well, and we'll send them half off their first uh, purchase. So. Yeah. Nice little uh, referral campaign. I like it. Yeah, of course. You get All it. All right. Well, we'll put it in the show notes as well. Guys, thank you so much for coming on. Right. Appreciate you both. Thank you. Ryan, pleasure meeting you today. We'll see you next time.